Hello guys, Megagoth here. In this video I'll be talking about volume levels in general and the Arma 3 limiter, what good and bad it does. Um, this is a sound. The sound has loud and quiet parts. Okay, this is zero volume, basically this is maximum volume. As you can see, maximum volume has a limit. You cannot go louder inside the, the sample at a certain point. It's just not possible. What is gonna happen is, you try to imagine if this wave could be going on but it cannot go on like this because it's already reached the maximum level um that's volume that's that's volume really really quickly for you this here is the mrap engine sounds fine right now what happens in arma in arma what, what, what used to happen is when when many sounds were played at the same time they would add together they would get added together and they would be way too loud for the system to handle and the system would in introduce clipping and distortion. It would sound like this. This is, nor this is normal. This is distorted. And it would happen f with everything. For example, you have a jet fly by and it would start clipping because there is also a firefight going on. So whenever audio signals are added together and it reaches the top, the signal gets cut off and it's, it's, it clips, it sounds crappy. This is, by the way, the, the sum of these two signals together. As you can see, for example, in this part, this is rather quiet and this is double as loud because, yeah, two signals. Okay, now the Arma 3 limiter prevents this from happening. Um, as soon as the Arma 3 limiter, oh, okay, um, as soon as it notices, okay, there is something going to hit the very top here, what it does is it lowers the master volume for, it lowers the master volume so the clipping does not happen, okay? It's like it, it keeps the sound at the top but without clipping. Let me um, show you an example. This is the Bohemian Interactive Grenade. Now, in the config it says, uh, play the grenade with a volume of 3.16, which is 316%, which is about 10 decibels. Plus 10 decibels. Plus 10 decibels is huge, because 6 decibels is already twice the volume. Now, the Arma 3 uh, engine tries to play this sample at a much louder volume than normal, basically. And as you can see, because the sample is already here at the top, like it hits the top, uh, as I said before, if you push it further, it should start clipping, but it doesn't because the limiter is smart like that. It does not clip the signal. L look at this part, for example. This here is already at the bottom, and as you can see, the, the wave is still round because instead of pushing the wave uh, further out of the maximum uh, level, it lowers the wave's amplitude, its, its power, its volume. It's a good thing. You get louder volume without clipping. But uh, notice this, the tail here is quieter than this one over here. Well, obviously, I raised the volume by 10%, uh, by 10 decibels. But shouldn't the, the, the punchy start in the beginning, shouldn't that be also raised by 10 decibels? Because as you can see here, it didn't. It did not get raised by 10 decibels because it already is at maximum volume. It cannot, it cannot go any further. So in the perfect world, it should be like this. This is a sound uh, at minus 10 decibels, roughly. And if I raise the volume of it by 10 decibels, it raises the volume of everything. The quiet parts and the loud parts. Now what the limiter does, it, it uh, affects the, the difference between the loud and quiet parts. It affects the, 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 the dynamics. And it would seem, like it seems to me over here visually, that it only increases the volume of the quiet parts. Now, watch the loudness war, stop the loudness war video in my signature, and there you will hear that it makes sense to have quiet parts so that loud parts make sense again. If you just make everything loud, you're gonna lose punch and, and uh, a good feel. Um, what I did here is, I also, this is my grenade, obviously, Mega's grenade. What I did here is, I applied the same effect. Um, to my grenade. It's obviously way louder than this one. Or at least the quiet parts are louder because 
the, the loud parts, their volume is the same basically. Pretty much the same volume. But I, pr I really prefer this one. Because it has more punch and dynamics. Now here's a suggestion. Instead of trying to play something at plus 10 decibels, and by doing that affecting its dynamics, why not just lower everything else by minus 10 decibels? For example, I did here. I'm currently remixing the game. And I'm having, I have environment sounds and footsteps and everything. And they are, they are at pretty low volumes. You notice how the, the grenade is, it really stands out of this mix. It, it, it stands out without any limiting or whatever, without its volume being raised. If you look at this, the grenade is being, being played back at, uh, at zero decibels, uh, like it, it's just plus minus zero, okay? It's just the way it is. But the environment, the gun, the environment is at, at minus 12 decibels, the gun is at minus three decibels, the grenade is at zero, character is at minus 12 decibels. So if I lower the volume of everything else, the loud, thing, the loud things will stand out. Uh, I hope I could explain uh, to you guys how the limiter works, what's good and bad about it. Basically, no clipping, which is great, but it changes the dynamics of your sound and the sound will be sounding different as compared to the way you designed it, which is bad. Have a good day, guys.